Hello, and welcome to Serverless 101. My name is Eric Johnson, and I'm a principal developer advocate for Serverless at AWS. Serverless 101 is a video series to help you get acquainted with the AWS services that are serverless. In this video, I cover Amazon DynamoDB. I do not cover all the features of DynamoDB in this video. Instead, I want to explain how DynamoDB is purpose-built for serverless development. Amazon DynamoDB is a fast, flexible, serverless, NoSQL database service that delivers single-digit millisecond performance at any scale. So, three important things here. First, DynamoDB is a database. It is designed to enable developers to store and retrieve data in a persistent manner. DynamoDB takes this a step further. When you store data on DynamoDB, it is automatically stored in up to six places across three different availability zones, which are isolated locations in AWS. DynamoDB takes care of all the work to sync the data behind the scenes. This allows for incredibly durable data storage. In addition to durability, DynamoDB also helps with security by providing data encryption in transit and at rest, out of the box. The second thing to understand is that DynamoDB is a serverless service. Unlike many other databases, DynamoDB does not require you to set up and maintain a cluster of servers to run the database. Instead, you create tables as needed and only pay for the reads and writes performed and the storage for the data. AWS manages the underlying infrastructure required to keep DynamoDB highly available and performant. The final thing to note is that DynamoDB is a NoSQL database. If you aren't sure what that means, the answer is in the name, NoSQL, meaning clients do not use standard query language, or SQL, to interact with DynamoDB. Additionally, this also means that DynamoDB is not a relational database, which is commonly identified by the use of SQL. So, let's talk about how a serverless NoSQL database can help you build event-driven applications on top of serverless. First of all, there's the data access methods. SQL-based relational databases require a driver in your code. That driver manages multiple shared connections to the database that are meant to be persistent. This works well when your business code runs on a server that is always up and running, even when you don't need it. With serverless, your business logic is run in an AWS Lambda function. Lambda functions are only active and paid for when you need them. Therefore, when the Lambda function is not in use, database connections are disconnected or left orphaned. It is possible to connect to a SQL server within a Lambda function, but there is the added overhead of reconnecting or repairing the connections. DynamoDB makes this much easier by providing an extremely low latency API endpoint to access the database. Using the language-specific SDK in your Lambda functions, you can quickly call DynamoDB via this API to update or retrieve data. This means that you no longer have to maintain database connections in your Lambda functions. DynamoDB also works well in event-driven applications because it can generate events when data is added, modified, or deleted from the database. As a developer, you can activate DynamoDB streams. The stream contains a record of each activity in the database. These events can be consumed by a Lambda function to apply business logic or trigger other processes within the application. This pattern is what I call the storage first pattern. To learn more about this pattern and see how it adds stability to an application, follow the QR code on the screen. To give you an idea of the power of DynamoDB, here are just a few ways we use it internally. DynamoDB powers multiple high-traffic Amazon properties and systems, including Alexa, the Amazon.com sites, and all Amazon fulfillment centers. In 2021, over the course of a 66-hour prime day, DynamoDB handled trillions of requests while maintaining high availability and single-digit millisecond performance, all while peaking at 89.2 million requests per second. The same power that runs these services is also available to everyday developers like you. This has been a high-level overview of Amazon DynamoDB and how it works with serverless. I encourage you to dig into the individual features of DynamoDB to make it work well for you. For more information about Amazon DynamoDB and other videos in the Serverless 101 series, follow this QR code. Again, 
My name is Eric Johnson, and you can connect with me at edjgeek on Twitter. Thank you.